What's going on, y'all? It's your boy, Mr. Stainless, out of North Virginia for Remain Stainless Customs. And um, right now, I'm at the Kick Sneaker Laundry Shoe Repair. And um, I'm gonna do I'm gonna do a tutorial on these uh, Olympic Nine Jordans. As you see right here, the first shoe that I have is already done and prepped. And this is the shoe that I'm gonna be working on now. And we're gonna go ahead and get into a tutorial. Cause the last video I shot, I've been getting a lot of requests to do an actual full glue tutorial. So we're gonna go ahead and get into it. So let's get it. Now everything's clean off, all the residue, um, no more of the old glue that was up here. And uh, the reason I do that because I always want to make sure that I definitely have a 100% um, bond to it. So everything's clean off, so the next step we're going to do is definitely lay the glue down. And um, just to give y'all a heads up that um, the, the smell from the glue is pretty strong so you may get a little high off of it. And the thing is, you always want to make sure you screw the top clearly back on the glue. Because if you don't, over time the glue will definitely dry out on you. <clears throat> so screw the top all the way back on. And y'all gonna see how easy it is for me to put the shoe together with the FBCC glue. Right there, perfect. See everything's lined up correctly. The shoe sets in. I have part of the toe box to do. I have a lot of these edges to do. So we definitely not finished. I'm gonna show you the trick to that. Two things that I'm definitely gonna use is definitely a Q-tip. I'm definitely gonna use this uh, FECC finisher glue. Um, my best suggestion is, is do not try to use this to completely do your edges. Always at least try to use the regular glue first and then whatever you can't get with the regular glue, do the edges because what's gonna happen is, is that you use too much of this stuff. Um, number one, it leaves, it leaves a real residue if you use too much of it. And then not only that, it becomes real brittle. And then when this glue becomes brittle, it definitely would, you would definitely hear some cracking and the shoe would come apart. So my best suggestion is save this for dead last. So we're gonna go ahead and get into the next step. doing is taking the q-tip I'm just rubbing the q-tip along the edge of the of 
the glue brush and make sure I have enough glue right there. And uh, what I'm gonna do is, sometimes you can see these lines or these prints that these, that these shoes uh, leave behind. So instead of me taping it up, which leaves a fine print of what I can see, I'm just gonna take my glue and rub right there on that part of the edge of the shoe. And, and I'm gonna do the other side. And I'm gonna go do it all around the toe box. And then if your Q-tip is messing up, just go ahead, grab another one. And continue it all the way around. And like I said, the thing is, we want to make we want to make these glue jobs. I, the main thing I try to aim for is making sure that these glue jobs are clean as possible. I got the, pretty much that glue all around the edge, but I'm gonna just go ahead and just start with the toe box and then look closely as I push in. After I let the glue sit for um, five to ten minutes, I'm gonna push in. So check this out, perfect seal, um, still got some little loose spots right here, even after the glue you're not going to always get 100%, that's why I suggest that I use the finisher for last, so you can just get the really small areas once again. Please do not try to use this to actually re-glue a shoe because it will not work that way because this finisher glue is real brittle and you use too much of it, it's going to wind up snapping and breaking. So um, this is only used to be used for a little bit and that's why it's called finisher glue just to do some small edging work and um, I'm going to go ahead and put the lighter to it because you have a lot of glue that's um, stuck in the tip. Like I said, the glue goes on clear, but I'm letting you know if you try to do this on black, it does show like a dry white residue. So just try to be real careful when you use this glue and make sure that you do it nice and neat. And how I do it is I pretty much line it up underneath. And press down on it. And I let that sit for like a few minutes. And that's pretty much the only spot that really needs it. And like I said, um, I'm going to go ahead, after I do this, I'm going to go ahead and clamp much of the back to the shoe together as much as I can. And then after that, the shoe will be a wrap. And you see right here, the glue's not even completely dry, but you see, pretty much got a perfect seal. And pretty much continue that all around the shoe. And I'm gonna just go ahead and get into that. The shoe is 100% complete. I would say give it three solid days for the glue to fully bond. 100, you wanna, I wanna make sure that you get that 100% bond. But looking at the shoe, if y'all check this out, the shoe is pretty much together. Everything's pretty much sealed down. Good to go. Give it three days. So that's pretty much a wrap for the tutorial. Um, once again, it's Mr. Stainless out of Norfolk, Virginia. You can catch me at the Kick Sneaker Lodge Shoe Repair Shop out here in Virginia Beach. My info will definitely be in the description. The info will definitely be at the end of the video. And um, not only that, y'all can also come through the Kick Sneaker Laundry Shoe Repair. Definitely come check me out if you need that work done. Please go to my uh, social medias. It will definitely be posted throughout this video. And it will definitely be in the description. Also, I want to give y'all guys a heads up that I was nominated for uh, a 
a 10 on 10 contest to do a 90s theme custom shoe. So November 23rd, please check that out. The, the link for that will definitely be coming soon to you guys. And I'm trying to definitely aim for a thousand likes on this video and also a thousand views. Stay blessed, stay fresh, and remain stainless. I'm out. Peace. Stay safe.